Hi there. I just would like to show you a quick uh, overview of the latest update of my Python Cable Tray app. This is the addition of a special Cable Tray T. This is the T which is dedicated to a downward position. Uh, I don't know how many of you will use it, but it is there. So it looks like this. You have all the parameters. There are a bunch of them now. Um, so let's just try to create it. Okay. Oh, a little bit strange geometry because of the basic values, but I will change it in a little bit. This is... L1 and L2 is a little bit long. This is the extension of this T. Uh, I will reduce it because it is 400 millimeters. Not useful for now. I will just give, okay, let's say 50. 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and that's all. Ah, so it's a little bit better. Also, the cover is turned on now. You know, this is one of the latest updates of my app. So. For now, I just turn off the cover with giving the thickness zero value. So theoretically, yes, it will turn off the cover. So this is this downward pointing T. So if you want to use it, it's there. All functions are working. Sorry. All functions are working uh, as usual. So, for example, if you are uh, changing this type uh, value to negative one, you will have this downward facing T with plate type looking version. And if I just change it back a little bit, also, I hit OK, just to see, you can see it. And from this position, you will see if I change uh, the thickness to negative uh, 2, so minus 2, uh, everything will un be unchanged. The thickness of the plates will remain 2 as for all other parts, but because it is a negative value, these stiffeners will be solid rectangular forms. So here it is. It is good if you have many, many items in your 3D model and you want to save some memory uh, and computing power. It is, it is a little bit more easier. Also, if you are generating drawings, it will be, I think, better. So this is it. Uh, you can change the radius there. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, this NS is the number of stiffeners. So if you want to add more stiffeners, let's say four, it will be generated like this. So four, four on each size. And uh, I saw once that there is a piece like this, but only one side is having this stiffener. So I made this available by entering a negative value here. So minus four, and you only have stiffeners on one side. It really looking a little bit strange. So I don't know if it is useful or not, but maybe if the radius is smaller and you only have, let's say, two stiffeners. Mm, it is not that bad, but uh, still strange. But anyhow, if you want, you it is there, so you can use this negative value at the NS to make the other side of the stiffeners disappear. Of course, this new piece of uh, special T is available in the spec editor. So 
if you select uh, a create a new component so first create a new component and then select fittings and t you theoretically should have this new cable tray downward t so just select the proper dimension and you have it like this and you have all the dimensions in an exactly same way as in the equipment where you can test the proper geometry what you like or if you are 100 percent sure that your values will be working with this uh, piece you can just go straight to the catalog editor and fill up the values and save it and add it to your spec uh, good luck and uh, feel free to contact me if you have any problem with it uh, thank you for watching and bye bye